Okay, so we've got three different harnesses on our little puppies here, right? Everybody knows, um, we just talked about it. Uh, easy harnesses, but use, um, use a leash on a dog in the house. Small dogs need to be taught impulse control more than bigger dogs. The reason people don't teach small dogs impulse control is because they don't use leashes and the proper uh, harnesses on them in the house. So they're always chasing the dog or reacting to the dog. We don't want reactive pet owners. When the dog does something, we're going to say no. When the dog does something, we're going to stop them. We want to be proactive pet owners. So if we're keeping them on a leash um, <clears throat> and we're keeping them in these little invisible force fields, we're keeping them safe. We're teaching them to not get into trouble. So again, if you have a small dog or a big dog, uh, but especially a small dog, and you're not using a leash in the house for potty training, for impulse control training, um, just to help them develop nice and um, calmly, then you, you're not um, really um, helping your dog as much as you probably could, right? We're doing a little loose leash training, all right? So again, training, uh, leashing a dog is not about dominating them or pushing them around or pulling them. It's about um, using, it, um, using it as an extension of yourself. When I am, uh, have a little teething puppy and I'm sitting down and I'm uh, hanging out with them, if they decide to start chewing on my shoe or chewing on my pants, I do not use my hands to push puppies away because teething puppies learn that if every time they chew on you or jump on you and hands come, then they're going to chew on your hands. And that teaches them a really bad habit. So what I'll do is I will give them something else to chew on. I usually have a little uh, rope toy with me or a little uh, something that they like to chew on. And so so if they were really teethy, I will just um, keep them at arm's length, redirect them with something to chew on, like a rope toy. Now, if you notice, these puppies are siblings, and sibling puppies, um, they can play with each other. They can be a little rough with each other. That's fine. If they're, um, Puppies know that if they're too rough, they will correct each other. What you should never do is have a puppy under the age of six months have um, teething play sessions with adult dogs. And um, if, you're, if you're having them with an adult dog, they can be supervised, you have to be interrupting, but you should not let them uh, harass an older dog. They need to learn independence training. Um, so one common mistake that people do is they get little puppies and they, um, they think that the adult dog will just kind of um, set them straight or leave them, um, you know, tell the, correct the puppy. P puppies can learn bad manners. So the only time we let puppies teeth or play rough with other dogs um, for extended periods of time is when they're of their own size and age, okay? Not adult dogs, that's an important little tip. The other thing you should never ever do unless you are seriously trained and invested with what we call independence training, don't ever adopt or buy puppies that are siblings. Some people think that, oh, well, I'm working. Well, not this day and age right now with everything going on, but uh, they, they feel like another puppy, uh, especially a sibling, will keep them busy when they're not around. That's actually not good. They, they have entire behavior chapters on puppies who are raised together. Um, they will initially be fine, but they'll start to develop separation anxiety, meaning if you ever try and separate them, um, they can't be separate. Um, they'll get very anxious. They'll bond less to people and more to each other, but, um, but if they ever get into a fight over a food bowl, over a toy, over a person, um, then those fights can actually get really toxic, and then um, you're in this double-edged sword situation where if, they're, if these dogs are separate, they have anxiety, but if they're together, they're trying to kill each other. And I've seen situations where people either um, <clears throat> have to keep their sibling dogs now completely gated or in separate bedrooms or only out at one time because they developed this issue. So again, you can get a puppy with an adult dog, but for the first six months until they're done teething, it's uh, supervised and not uninterrupted teething on each other. And then once they're over six months and you worked on independence training, then they can be together all the time. Um, if you get two puppies, even if they're of different litters, you, shouldn't, um, you should really work on independence training. All right, that's it. Talk to you again some other time.